Just five months prior, Eamon Holmes was claiming to be the victim, expressing his shock and surprise upon learning of his wife Ruth Langsford's divorce. And then he has been pictured in recent days enjoying a romantic getaway in the Mediterranean with Katie Alexander, his new, much younger girlfriend, showing off his soft side petting her as they walk out for a night on Ibiza night. Some of the photos of them outside feature Katie sporting a 315-pound black mini dress with feathers, an 850-pound Loewy purse, and towering 655-pound Christian Louboutin heels. All the while, the accusations that he caused Ruth's breakup remain so vivid in his mind. Eamon, I apologize, but the game is over. I fear that you will pay a heavy price for these photos, at least in the eyes of the general public. How can a man leave a 27-year relationship so quickly and then parade a woman who is almost half his age around Ibiza? Portly Eamon's display of his young lover's affections requires a unique level of cruelty, as he knows that Ruth, another well-known celebrity, will view every photo. Eamon isn't divorced just yet. He remains wed. As he appeared on the internet in 2015 when the attractive blonde Yorkshire divorcee mother of three, falling over him and claiming he was her George Clooney, contacted him. He apparently started seeing Katie on a regular basis after her own marriage collapsed in 2022, at which point he was married. Married when she was supposedly staying at a hotel in Surrey that was conveniently located just 10 minutes away from Eamon and Ruth's Weybridge home. And it makes sense that Ruth has had enough. While Eamon was merrily showing off his girlfriend around Ibiza, and a pal was gushing, Katie is living her dream. We found out that Ruth had hired Catherine Costley, one of the fiercest divorce attorneys in the nation. When Ms. Costley starts talking, Eamon and Katie's dream might well become a nightmare. The 400 pounds per hour divorce attorney has a reputation for being fierce and methodical. She gained her expertise at the feet of her previous employer and mentor, Baroness Shackleton, who represented Prince Charles in his divorce against Diana at the time. Because of her charm and tenacity, she goes for her target with the nickname the Steel Magnolia. She was so merciless in her representation of Sir Paul McCartney during his divorce from Heather Mills, his four year wife that when Shackleton left the courtroom with a 24 million pound settlement rather than the 125 million pounds she had requested, Mills angrily threw a glass of water over her head. Without a doubt, Ruth's choice of Miss Costley, one of the top five divorce attorneys in the nation, will dampen Eamon's blatant display of affection. This is exactly what he merits. This could have been a peaceful divorce between two people who had been married for 13 years and raised a son together if he had handled the affair with some dignity and respect for Ruth kept it quiet and under the radar of the media, and been honest with her that he'd fallen in love with someone else. However, in light of his subsequent actions, his self-pitying tirades during their breakup sound hollow. Regarding TV Tubby Eamon's assertions that he hoped Ruth and he might be friends, there's very little likelihood of that happening. Ruth's anger is beyond words, and I'm sure it will make Eamon shudder in his electric wheelchair. Ms. Costley counsels women who are considering or are in the process of getting a divorce to safeguard their assets and themselves. She also suggests that women keep a separate account of their own funds in case they have to end a relationship abruptly. Having a go-bag is something I would advise everyone to do, she says. No matter how much or little money you have, make sure you consistently have savings. It gives the Holmes versus Langsford divorce an additional level of drama. Did Ruth predict it? Was she waiting to make the shocking revelation of their breakup until she had her go bag ready? I only ask because, according to data for her business Hey Ho Limited revealed in February of this year, she earned £2.3 million from her work on television last year, including Loose Women and her popular shopping channel program Ruth Langsford Fashion on QVC. Even though Eamon is rumored to be paid approximately £1 million by GB News, he is unlikely to be offered many more lucrative TV jobs. According to rumors, Eamon is so enamored that he has showered Katie and her kids with pricey presents, which may account for the 4,200-pound Alhambra bracelet Katie was sporting in those Ibiza photos. After all, she most likely isn't paying with her meager earnings as a relationship counselor, which are 45 pounds for a 50-minute appointment. She is now the owner of a 50,000-pound Mercedes. The key takeaway is that Eamon is demonstrating his newfound love in a way that befits his skill level. He has spent decades as a TV celebrity. He is aware of publicity. 
He knew he would always be noticed wherever he went after Ruth threw him out. He was fully aware that he would be constantly being photographed by other passengers on their luxurious cruise on the Scarlet Lady. Yes. Really? And that the two would be seen in public photos together. How could he do that to Ruth, who supported him through years of unrelenting illness? He had back surgery, a double hip replacement, and a fall down the stairs of their shared house, which left him unable to walk at all. I hope Ruth takes her cunning husband to the dry cleaners on behalf of all women who have been betrayed, and that she leaves him for dead thanks to the abilities of her formidable divorce attorney. And then we'll see how enamored Katie becomes of her 64-year-old sugar daddy, who is now broke and struggling financially.